What's up YouTube? Bitcoin is pumping. As I told you yesterday, the ATR was very low and the RSVVV bands were very contracted and we needed a breakout and it seems we're getting it. But how high will it go? If you look left, we haven't gone anywhere. We're just where we were the entire two weeks from the 12th of May until today. It's just ranging in this range. We aren't able to break through. If we do, well, that would be great. But so far, we were bound by the range of 30,340 to 28.6. And every time we broke above it, we wicked and came back in. If we go back into the range, then that would be a good point to get into a short if I see the EMEs cross over the 8, the yellow one, and the 13, the red one. And I'll be looking at the MACD. At the moment, the MACD was having a, a cross down, cross under. But then it decided to cross over again because Bitcoin is moving up. But if anything else happens otherwise, I will be considering uh, for a short position. At the moment, I'm in a long position from 28.3. My stops are... To break even, I uh, actually I should move them into profits now. But let's look at some targets. I'll give you some targets to consider if Bitcoin decides to move higher. So if we go on the four hourly, and you look over here, you'll see that we have the red dotted line, which is the two hundred and thirty-three EMA, two thirty-three. That will be one target. In a couple of hours, the 233 will move slightly down. It will be aligned with my horizontal resistance level at 32.9. And we have the green trend line, which aligns with the horizontal resistance level at 34K. That will be, if that happens, that will be on the 1st of June that they cross over. And over here, we have this white trend line that is aligned at the moment with a 200 EMA. But if it takes up to the 1st of June, it will be aligned with the horizontal trend line over here. A horizontal uh, resistance line. Anyway, so this is another level you should consider over here. It's not too far, 32.447, 32.360, I'll just leave one. Okay, these are the next levels to watch out for. There is a 33K resistance, but I didn't put it down because we have the 32.9, which is almost the same. Now, if Bitcoin decides to go lower on the one hour chart, you can see we have the 200 EMA over here this line the 200 EMA and we have the red dotted line which is a 233 and we have the 50 EMA that are going to be crossing over if 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 Bitcoin still continues uh, continues up these lines the 50 will cross the 200 the 50 will move up the 200 will follow and the 233 will follow and eventually they will cross if bitcoin decides to come lower then this would be a good support over here at 29.3 that's one support level you should watch out for another support level we have is at 28.8 28.8 is another level of support. Now let's look at Bitcoin and try to figure out what are the targets. Well, we had the range from 30,300. 30, the range was from 30,340 up to 28.6. Our range was to 28.6 over here. And I told you, if you break the range, you measure the width of the range and you put your line at the breakout and that should give you an estimated target. This is my estimated move for that breakout if 
Bitcoin cannot continue higher. That is one. Another thing we were looking at yesterday was a possibility that we're in a triangle. So I'll just turn off these indicators so we get clarity. Look at that. I was saying that we have a a triangle over here. The triangle was from here. Going down here. This was my triangle. As you can see, we broke up the triangle. We broke out of the triangle. The bottom of my triangle was actually this line at 28.8. We broke below and came back. We had a fake out down and it happens in triangles sometimes that you break out to one side and then you end up breaking finally to the other side. Now, the measured move would be the widest part of the triangle from here to here. And if I put it at the breakout of the triangle right over here, or even over here where we wicked, the target would be where we at now. Exactly. So is that it for Bitcoin? Is this a finished move? As you can see, amazing how it aligns perfectly with this wick. Almost to the dollar. Now, I'll be watching the, I usually watch the 15 minute time frame for an entry. So those are the levels, next levels to watch out for Bitcoin, for a move up or a move down, if you want to enter a short or a long, not financial advice, but yeah, that's how it is. It's looking bullish, but in my opinion, it's just range bound. Of course, if Bitcoin goes higher, everyone, Everyone's happy. I just want to look at some more indicators. If there's any divergences or if let's look at the RSI. Okay, the RSI on the four hour chart RSI. High highs, high highs. This is a low. Nothing on the four hour. Any divergence in the daily. On the weekly, The only thing to keep aware of is that on the weekly we have this huge, huge divergence that is playing out. Well, it could be over. It's a bearish divergence. We have lower, lower highs on the RSI and higher highs on the Bitcoin price. Let's not forget that on the weekly we had this head and shoulders that is in play at the moment. It's been in play ever since the dump, but let me put the head and shoulders so you can see it on the weekly. Red left shoulder, the head possibly over here, and 
we could have our right shoulder right over here and if you look at that that's a big head and shoulders pattern and the breakout of that would be from you measure it from the head to the neckline the neckline is over here actually see where these wicks align okay that would be the neckline and you take it put it at the breakout the breakout was over here so I'll take the trend line put it at the breakout straighten it out a bit and we have a level we have 16k 16k is an important level another thing to be aware of is that the Bitcoin dominance chart on the Bitcoin dominance chart the CME sorry CME futures chart not dominance we have gaps to the upside we have this gap oh it's been filled it looks like it's been filled anyways we have this gap over here at around this one between 35 780 and the 34 600 that is one gap and we have lower gaps we have a gap here between 26 440 and 24570 which we partially filled with that wick we have lower gaps also if I show you you would see that we have if we go on the daily chart might be clear we have a gap here 19k 18k we have another gap here it's around 10k so there are a lot of gaps and we don't have to fill them but it's just something to be aware of at the moment you should have this in mind you have a gap around 34 35k and you have a gap that you haven't completed filling which you don't have to but just be aware of that could bitcoin continue up from here we can continue higher from here it's very possible but we have a lot of levels of resistance that we have to break we have around the 30k range we have the 31 900 we have the 32 600 32 800 the 33 and around the 34 and 35k so that's a lot of level of resistance we need a lot of volume we need a lot of liquidity to come in to break those levels at the moment you can see bitcoin could go as high as 31 190 31 2 where we stopped out last time so that's also another possible target for if we even get there Bitcoin today has exceeded its ADR, average daily range. It's actually at its average daily range. It has calculated that this is the daily range Bitcoin could travel. It's at the high, as you can see over here. I want to show you a table it shows today Bitcoin's average daily range is 1433.8 dollars that is the average daily range that it would travel today and estimate it could exceed it it does sometimes but as per the movement and calculations it tells you that this is the average daily range that it could be traveling So 
So yeah, we've hit the high ADR, wicked above it, and we're pulling back at the moment. Will we break the AD, high ADR today, or will we continue, Will we just roll over and go lower? So those are the targets that you should be aware of. All right, I'm out.